Hey everyone, and welcome to Crochet Therapy. In this episode, we are going to make the most beautiful butterflies in the world, other than, you know, the real things. They just come in so many different colors, and they're so bright and beautiful, and I just love a good butterfly. So, I have the pattern for you. It's super easy, super quick, and it's super lovely. Isn't that just adorable? You can make them in any color you like. As you can see, I went a little color crazy. Maybe just a little color crazy. I wanted to do the rainbow, and boy did I. So, let me pack these over here. Let's see, let's get these out of the way. Mm -hmm. I have a ton of these. And I'm going to make more. I'm going to make some with you today. Two colors. I have chosen a beautiful lime green and a beautiful yellow. Mostly because, well, they're happy colors, but they do show up really well on camera. This is just Red Heart Super Saver yarn in a size 4. Nothing fancy about that. And a size J hook. You can see that size J hook. The only other thing you'll need, some yarn darners, yarn yarn, and trusty scissors. Okay, let's get started. Super easy. We're going to make a slip knot. Okay, and then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. We are going to slip our hook into the first stitch and don't be confused by that little knot right there that's our slip knot slip our hook into the first stitch and slip it on through both of those next thing we're going to do i like to tighten that knot a little bit next thing we're going to do is chain three one two three that will count as our first double crochet then we're going to find that little ring, little hole there, and we're going to do everything in this ring. Okay, so what we're going to do, two more double crochets. One, two, I'm going to pull enough yarn out so I don't have to worry about that. Here's the second double crochet. So now we're going to count this three chain as a double crochet. So we have one, two, three. Okay, we give it a little tug over. We're going to chain one. And then we're going to do three more double crochets. One, two, three. And then we're going to chain one. That counts as two clusters. We're going to do this for a total of eight clusters. Okay, chain one. So I now have three, five more to go. Okay, and we're coming around to the last cluster, my number eight cluster. And by cluster, I mean uh, the three double crochets together. Okay. And if you're not there yet, just pause the video until you get there and then follow the rest along. Okay, so when you finish that last cluster, that eight cluster, and we're gonna count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Don't forget to chain one. 
And then what we're going to do is slip stitch into the top of that chain three space, which is right here. And we're gonna just slip stitch into that. And then once we slip stitch into that, we are going to chain one, pull up a little bit, pull a loop, and then we're going to get our scissors and cut this end piece a little bit right there and then just pull the loop through and give it a tug and that creates a knot so that will hold that secure okay so now we have a cluster of eight double crochets with, ch with chain one in between each one okay so now we're ready to do our next color I'm gonna put this yellow aside we're gonna use that for our last well our third row so what we're going to do is do a slip knot with the green or whatever color you choose you're going to find that chain one space anywhere anywhere around it doesn't matter we're going to insert our hook take our yarn bring it through and do a slip knot okay and then we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to work two more double crochets okay so with that chain three and two more double crochets we have a cluster we're going to chain one and do three more double crochets in that space. Okay. Now, we're not going to chain one, we're just going to go right into the next chain one space and do three double crochets. chain one three double crochets we're going to do this all the way around okay before I move on I like to just count three space three perfect pull more yarn you use a lot of yarn very fast three more double crochets Chain one, three more double crochets. Okay, three and three. Go into the next one. Three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets. Go to the next one and again three double crochets chain one three double crochets Very similar to a granny square. Uses the same technique as a granny square. And it turns into a beautiful butterfly. Nothing better than that. 
These are really nice little gifts to give to people. Um, I made one the other day and gave it to a coworker who had come back from being sick and um, she was out sick for a couple days. She just was feeling under the weather. And so I just put one on her desk while she was at lunch. Didn't leave a note. Just the little butterfly. And then once you get to the end, you see how it's kind of ruffling a little bit? And that's okay. Because we have a lot of stitches in that little ring. Okay. So when we get to the end, make sure you have your three space chain, chain one and three. And then you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three that we did at the beginning. You're going to do a chain, just like we did with the yellow. You're going to clip it, pull it through, and give it a tug to make a knot. That's So now we have that pretty little thing. kind of looks like a little flower. It's going to transform very shortly. So now we're going to pull some more yellow. That's our next color. I'm going to pull a lot so I don't have to keep interrupting. Okay, here's the beginning. So we're going to do a slip knot. There we go. All right, so for this one, okay, so you have what's called your corners. That's where you have the two um, sets of three double crochets with the chain one space. And then you have the um, in between where you didn't do a chain. So that one is an in between. We're going to start in what we call a corner where you have the two sets of three double crochets and the chain one space. So you're going to take your hook with your slip knot on it and you're going to go into that chain one space and you're going to pull through and do a slip right there. Slip stitch. You're going to chain three, two, three. And as always, that is going to count as your first double crochet. Um, in this space, we are going to do six double crochets with no space between them. So this is our first one. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. So you just have a nice little shell there. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, double crochets, no space between them. Then we're going to go into this hole right here that we did not have a chain one space. And that one we're going to put, go into the hole and put a single crochet just to lock it down. Then, in this next corner space, we are going to do six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to go into this space and do a single crochet. And then what are we going to do in this space? That's right, six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, one more. Six. And then what happens in the next space? That's right, single crochet. You're getting good at this. Six double crochets in the next space. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, 
here comes this space right here, single crochet. This space, six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. What goes in here? You got it. Single crochet. Okay, we've got a couple more to go. So let's keep at it. Six single crochets. Single crochet, six doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next space, what do we do? That's right, single crochet. Okay, we're coming to the end. One more six cluster and one more single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now one double crochet. And then what do you think we do next? You got that right. Slip stitch into the top of the chain three space. And then we yarn over, pull through, we cut our yarn. Pull it through, make a knot. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Okay, so we're done with these colors. Done with those colors. Now, oh, I need to get my black, my black yarn. Good to get up and stretch for a minute. That will give you a little bit of a chance to catch up. If you're not there yet, this next part is super easy. What we're going to do is single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so you see each, we'll call them petals. And then in between where there was the single crochet, that's actually where we're going to start um, doing our single crochet all the way around. Make sure it's between the petals. So we're going to do a slip knot with the black. And the black, quite honestly, makes it pop. So it just makes our butterfly so beautiful. So we've got our slip knot on our hook with the black. I always go right here. Do a slip knot. And then in that same one, do a single crochet. And then do a single crochet all the way around. Make sure you're not making it too tight because you are going around 
a gentle sloping shell border so you want to make sure that you're not making it too tight be gentle with it And the black is hard to see on camera but thankfully the only thing we have to do is this border and so the other colors came out nice and clear so we just have to worry about this border for one row which is really nice so and see how I picked up this straggler here and I'm just locking it in under for a couple stitches and then I'll let it go. And we'll sew those in so we're not worried too much about that. Remember nice loose soft stitches being kind and gentle to this butterfly We're almost at the end. slip stitch okay now we've got this going we did a slip stitch to connect the two now what we're going to do is chain 16 we're not going to cut our yarn we're just going to from here chain 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, anytime you do a chain, you're going to have the flat side and you're going to have the bumpy side. Okay? So you want the flat side to be on the material itself and you want the bumpy side to be on the outside of the butterfly. Now, the side that's facing us is the outside of the butterfly. So what we're going to do, you see how this is right like this, we are just going to fold our butterfly in half, okay? Now this is our flat side, that's the flat side for me. So I'm going to fold this over and come all the way around. and wrap it all the way around the butterfly. Did you see that? You see, I just took it and I wrapped it all the way around the butterfly until I came to the bottom on the other side, okay? And I make sure that it's nice and straight, okay? 
tighten this loop a little bit. Okay. And then what I do, and I know it's hard to see because it's black yarn, but with this, when I did my first chain, there's a little loop right there. And I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to insert it into that loop right there. And I'm going to slip stitch right into that loop. Oop. Lost it. Did I lose it? Yep. I'll try it again. I'm trying to make sure that you can see it on camera, but then I can't see it. Okay. I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay. Done. Slip stitch done. Then I'm going to yarn over and do a chain, pull up a loop, and I'm going to cut it just like we did for all the other, and I'm going to give it a tug. Now, see we have these little strings, but now we have our butterfly. So we're going to weave in our ends, and also we are going to make a little bit of an antenna. So what I like to do is do this, and then I like to do two loops with that end. One, two, because that makes a nice, nice little top of an antenna. You don't have to go to the end because we can trim it. Don't make it too tight. So you see you've got a little, little ball there. And then go about Not that far, not too far. You don't want to have too long of an antenna because then it won't stand up. And then I do the same thing right here. I just loop it through twice. There we go. And then I just cut it. And then what I do is I insert it underneath here and I just pull it up to the top. And there you have it, the little antenna. So the last thing we have to do is just to weave in our ends. And some of those ends have actually already been woven in. And so I just give them a little snip. Now, if this is not going to be tugged on and played with a lot. I just snip the ends. If it is going to become a toy and children are going to be playing with it, then I make sure that I weave in those ends really, really well. So I'm definitely going to weave in this body end because I want to make sure that I tuck this lumpy part right up here inside. So I want that to kind of turn under. There you go. I don't know if you could see that happening. It's not that I'm trying to lock it down, although that's not bad either, but um, mostly because where I did the knot, it's got a little bit of a, a lump there. And so, you know, you just want it pretty. And then this one was from the initial, so I definitely want to do that. Snip that. You're just going to find a little bit of the same color and just weave it through. There we go. And then just give it a little, little snip. So, here is our 
adorable butterfly. You can make these in any color. I have a project that I'm doing and I am making a silent wind chime using the rainbow of these butterflies, which is what I showed you at the beginning. I'm still, it's still a work in progress. And when I get ready to assemble the rainbow butterfly wind chime, I will take a video of it and share it with you. But for now, go ahead and make up some butterflies. I think my wind chime is gonna take about 20 butterflies. You can make them in any color you like. You can stick a magnet on the back, put it on a refrigerator. You can put a little pin so that you can attach it to a hat or your lapel. You can give it to a little one to play with. They love butterflies. Or if somebody is not feeling well at work, you can just set it on their desk and sneak away. And when they come back to their desk, they have a little prize there. A little present, a little surprise, something to brighten their day. Make it in their favorite color and you will sure to be popular at your office. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe, have fun, and keep hooking. Oh, and don't forget to hit subscribe on my page and click like. I do like some likes. Hope you have a great day.